Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Ellerbeck, and today we will be talking about the differences between AWS organizations SCPs versus AWS IAM. AWS organizations is part of the management and governance category, and AWS identity access management is part of the security, identity, and compliance category. Let's first take a look at AWS organizations SCPs service control policies. If you look at this icon, you can see that it is a hierarchy, and that's what this does. AWS Organizations is an account management service that enables you to consolidate multiple AWS accounts into an organization that you create and centrally manage. You can group your accounts into organizational units, or OUs. You can then use Service Control Policies, or SCPs, to specify the maximum permissions for member accounts in the organization. In SCPs, you can restrict which AWS services, resources, and individual API actions the users and roles in each member account can access. You can configure the service control policies in your organization to work as either of the following. A deny list, actions are allowed by default, and you specify what services and actions are prohibited, or an allow list, actions are prohibited by default, and you specify what services and actions are allowed. The default configuration of AWS organizations supports using SCPs as deny lists. Let's go to the next slide to look at how these compare between AWS organization SCPs versus AWS IAM. The service control policies follow the same format as an IAM policy. The difference, though, is that an SCP attaches to an OU or a member account. An IAM policy, on the other hand, can be applied only to IAM identities, like users, groups, or roles. And IAM policies can't restrict the AWS account root user. Back to SCPs, these restrictions even override the administrators of member accounts in the organization. This block remains in effect even if an administrator of a member account explicitly grants such permission in an IAM policy. So SCP policies went out. Let's take a look at SCP. To see the SCPs, we first go to AWS Organizations. There, we can see the two accounts. This management account and a dev account. To see the policies, we go to Policies. We can see that service control policies are enabled. And here, we can see the full AWS Access Policy, the default policy that allows access to every operation. And then, this deny all outside of the EU policy, which I copied from this example, service control policies. This policy only allows those two regions to perform these actions. So, if we log into that account, you'll notice that we're in North Virginia, which is not within those two regions and go to EC2, we can see API errors. And if we try to launch an instance, we'll see that we're not authorized to perform this operation. If we change regions to one of those allowed regions, go to EC2, we can see no API errors, and if we try to launch an instance, we are able to. Thank you for watching, and hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation on the differences between AWS Organizations SCPs versus AWS IAM.